Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 37, and I'm going to discuss integration by parts rule number 4. This is the fourth and final of the, of the rules. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstories.com. So there are five videos which are relevant to this. Integration by parts rules 3, 2, and 1, numbered as follows. Green's theorem, number 31, and the product rule, number 4, which is uh, video number 19. I'd just like to point out, by the way, in video number 36, I referenced Stokes' theorem, and I actually uh, numbered it incorrectly. I numbered it as 31, which is Green's theorem. So Stokes is actually number 32. So just we're going to do this a bit quicker than the previous videos because this is the end, and they're all the same. So that's uh, that is integration by parts proved in video number 33. So we're integrating the product of two functions f and g. However, g is a derivative. So what we can do is transfer the derivative to f at the cost of a minus sign plus a boundary term. Product rule number four is here. Okay, so product rule four is where we take the divergence of a cross product between vectors a and b, and it gives us this, which I don't need to go into. So the usual technique is to integrate this over a particular either area or volume and apply either Stokes or Green's theorem. So just to remind us what, what Green's theorem says, Let's say we take the integral over a volume of the divergence of a vector I'm going to call alpha. It's the same as the closed surface integral of alpha dot dA. Okay, and you'll see in a moment why I used alpha and not my usual capital A. So, that means we need to first of all integrate over the volume of our function product rule number 4. So I integrate over the volume uh, d tau of all three of these here. Okay, very straightforward. Now, if you compare this term here with my with my Green's theorem. So Green's theorem says you, you're, you're integrating over the volume the divergence of your uh, the divergence of your function alpha. But here we're integrating the divergence of another function a cross b. So a cross b is the same as my alpha. So that means what I'm able to do is insert a cross, a cross b here and I have a cross b dot da. Which is exactly what I do in this step. I just insert a cross b dot da here. Okay so it's the closed surface integral and the other two, two terms on the right hand side stay unchanged and very simply you can rearrange it uh, to swap the side, swap the, uh, we'll say swap them around and you get the following form and this is what I'm going to call integration by parts rule number four so thanks for watching please pass it on to your friends subscribe to my channel and you might also visit universityphysicstorials.com